What is going on everybody? You're watching another episode of Tony's Vlog. So, in today's video we are going to be doing a What's in My Camera Pack 2021. I finally got a camera bag instead of just using my regular like hiking pack where I just throw a bunch of stuff in there. Finally got a bag with some components and compartments and all that good stuff to store lenses, laptop, everything. So we're going to be doing that today. As you can tell, it is beautiful outside. I think it's like 16 degrees. I think a day or two ago, it felt like negative 27. Um, I could literally walk out in basketball shorts and a tank top and I don't know, just chillax because right now it feels amazing compared to last week. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump right into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video of What's My Camera Bag 2021. All right, so I just want to start off by showing you guys the bag I've been using. Um, this one obviously has like no structure to it. It's kind of irresponsible that I was even using this, especially when I was like going snowboarding and falling. With this on the back, there's literally no structure to this bag whatsoever. It's meant for more like, I don't know, like other gear, like when I was in Yellowstone, just had a bunch of camping stuff in there, like shower, shower stuff, t-shirts, extra pair of socks. Just anything that's not equipment and that's not supposed to be broken, you put in here. Um, yeah, again, has like no structure compared to the one I just bought. But with that, I'm gonna toss this one aside and we'll talk more about this one. So this one I just got the other day and right off the bat, way more structure, way more durable than the one I've been using, which is what I was looking for. And one of my favorite things is the like zipper pouch, it opens up and it's got the dividers. Absolutely love that. We'll be seeing kind of more of the stuff that I'm gonna be putting in there later in the video. But yeah, it's got those compartments there, just some extra zippers. And on the inside of that too, there's like room for like pens and wallets and stuff like that. But another thing I like is the side pouch that opens up to this main compartment. But again, I can put like another lens there if I'm on the go and I don't wanna take my backpack off all the way to swap lenses. I can just kind of throw it over one side of my shoulder and grab a lens that's sitting in the side of the backpack there. One more on the back here. This is where I'll probably end up putting my laptop. Nice slim compartment there to go right up against your back. And then there's actually another pouch down here I didn't even see this one right away until just now. But yeah, another small little pouch. Who knows what I'll put in there? Probably like my wallet or keys just because that's gonna be away from anybody when I got the backpack on. Don't want anybody stealing stuff off of me when I'm walking around taking photos. And the final compartment on this backpack that we'll just like run through really quick is on the bottom. And I think what I'll do with this one, yeah, it's a nice like deep, I think it's like two inches deep really nice right there. But I think what I'll be doing with this is if I get a drone, which should probably be a small one, that's where I'll put that. Um, Cause it's nice and a hard case. But yeah, now that we kind of went through a little bit of the backpack that I just bought, let's jump into the stuff that I'm actually gonna be putting in it. Okay, so for the most part, I got everything that I carry right now in the bag. Up in the top here, I'm going to have laptop charger, the mouse, and then I got my broken Beats headphones and then the charger for that. You can charge those right up against the laptop with the USB. And then this component for right now, of course, I will probably put the camera in this empty spot right here but I got the 18 to 135 millimeter lens there, a GoPro mount, my GoPro accessories in there, the charger adapter for the ES80D. And then, yeah, you can kind of see like how it'll look from this end. There's probably not even gonna be much there. Yeah, so I'll put the camera in right there. And the back piece here, We got my laptop, you can see there. And then, in the bottom, I just put some extra quick and easy accessories like the chesty, um, and then also like the strap for the camera. I don't really use this, just because I like to freehand it a lot, but 
and I don't really need it anymore. I used to use it when I was doing B-roll for like, it was like an easy tip if you didn't have a Ronin to keep stable. But that's what's in my camera bag. But now we will just kind of talk about each individual item and kind of like what I use it for and where I got it. All right, so now that I got everything that I typically carry in my camera bag, let's just kind of go through a little bit of what I use and why I use it. So let's start off with this Gorillapod here. I really love this thing. I used to have a really cheap one that was very flimsy and kind of didn't actually like move and stay put. Like these pieces would kind of like just kind of go wherever they wanted to go. Really like this. It's nice and easy when I got the camera that I'm using now, just holding it up and kind of like vlogging myself. Gets that extra extension out there so I can get more of myself and the background in there. So I got that. This is just a lens cap for when I'm swapping out lenses or when I can take off all the lenses and I can just cover up the actual like camera and all the sensors and stuff. I got my Beats headphones. I think this is like first gen, like three years old. Just broke them like this summer when I was working out, but the one side still works, so I still haven't bought new ones yet. So I got that in the little charger for them. Moving over here is all of my GoPro accessories. I think I have another video on what's in my GoPro camera pack. So if you guys want to go check that out, I'll link it above. But yeah, I got all the GoPro Hero 9 accessories and SD cards and stuff in here. And then further over here to my right is the charger adapter for the EOS 80D I have. And that battery just plugs right into the wall. And then right here, got my 18 to 1 35 millimeter lens. It's just like the stock one that came with my camera. The camera strap, don't really use this a whole lot. I've used it a few times, but not a ton. Kind of when I didn't have the Ronin, I had that thing uh, around my neck when I was shooting video because it'd be a lot more stable than just freehanding it. And then obviously I got my mouse, laptop charger, and my laptop here use it all the time for when I'm editing. I think it's the HP, or no, it's the Dell Inspiron 13,000. It's kind of a piece of junk for editing videos. It's very choppy when trying to run Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm looking to upgrade that, looking to upgrade my camera. So let me know down in the comments what I should upgrade to. And same for the camera. I'm thinking of the 90D, but let me know if you got any other ideas. Here, First time I used this clamp was in this video. I don't know if you saw the overhead shot of me kind of packing everything into the camera, camera backpack. And uh, yeah, I had this clamped up on the ceiling and the GoPro just hanging down. But again, I got the Hero 9 here. I also have that in the bag. And then like the three-way mount, very nice for those like overhand shots, like back of you or kind of just so you have more extension, more visual. Definitely gonna be using this sucker this weekend when we go up to the UP. I think it's the UP. Anyways, we're going to Bessemer, Michigan to Big Powderhorn Ski Resort. Gonna be getting a lot of footage with the GoPro Hero 9. Having fun snowboarding up there. And then I got the chesty. I use this as much as I can, um, but I really gotta say that using like the other mounts when you're snowboarding and doing action stuff, it's just way cooler because you can move around and do all that good stuff instead of just having like a one stationary chest mount. Then obviously I got my wallet here, I put that in the back of the camera. And then I got the tripod that I'm using right now and the camera that I'll also be uh, kind of having in the backpack as well. The tripod actually can mount to like this strap here. Not mount, you literally just slide one of the legs through and then it's secure in there. But yeah, that gonna, is going to be in my camera bag for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do all those good things, and just kind of visit the channel back again for another video. Stay tuned for the one from Michigan at Big Powder Home Resort. See you guys later. Hey, there's one more thing, you guys, that I forgot to mention was my vlog ideas and photo ideas. I use this thing quite often. Um, I got a lot of stuff written down in here, as you can tell. Whether it's like ideas of what I want to shoot or angles that I want to shoot or even things to purchase for camera gear, places that you want to go, literally anything about doing this channel or photo or video, basically anything, I'll write down in this thing. A huge tip is write down some of the things that you want to do, even though it doesn't have to be super scripted, like what you guys are videoing or taking photos of, but having a general idea of kind of like what you want to shoot, 
where you want to go. It's really helpful and kind of makes it more organized even though some videos are better kind of off the cusp. But definitely a good idea. I love using this thing. But yeah, that's just one more thing I wanted to mention. But again, I'll see you guys in the next video.